I don't know if this feud is actually going to happen. This is basically a rumor. But let's say it did happen. I have just one question for you. Why? Why would this feud happen? For what? It literally doesn't make any fucking sense. At all. CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin rarely interacted with each other. I can only remember maybe one time when they did. And that was when Stone Cold was the general manager for like maybe one or two weeks. And he was doing something called Monday Night All-Stars or some shit. Back in 2011. And CM Punk basically made fun of Stone Cold because of Stone Cold's catchphrase. Which makes even less sense when you look at it. Because he spent that time making fun of Stone Cold. And he called his catchphrase... The what catchphrase, CM Punk called it annoying. So, then, a couple of weeks later, after making fun of Stone Cold, and after them teasing a potential Stone Cold versus CM Punk feud, then, when he's cutting his pipe bomb, he wears a Stone Cold t-shirt. That makes even less sense. Why would you wear the t-shirt of somebody that you're feuding with? That, I mean, to me, it just, it doesn't make any sense. And some would say, well, Shane McMahon wore The Rock's t-shirt. Yeah, but if you notice, Shane was making fun of The Rock. Like, sometimes, he, I think he put a C in, in front of it, so it would say The Croc or something like that. They were making fun of The Rock, so that's different. CM Punk didn't really make an effort to use Stone Cold merchandise to make fun of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Why would CM Punk fight Stone Cold? For what? And then you're going to say, well, what about that thing with WWE 13? Okay, but that's not enough to warrant a feud. That's not enough to create a feud. And more importantly than that, even if they were going to do a feud, why would you fucking tell that you're going to do a feud? I, I just don't understand that about WWE. Why do you fucking tell what you're going to do? I, I don't understand that about you. Why do you tell it? You're ruining the surprise. Why would you tell everyone you're bringing CM Punk back? And, and you're going to say, well, they didn't really come out and tell. No, not directly. No, they didn't. They didn't directly tell. But they left hints. They had people referencing CM Punk. And doing CM Punk's moves and shit like that. I don't understand WWE. I don't understand their way of thinking. In order for this feud to work, it has to have logic behind it. And this feud doesn't. And some will say, well, maybe Stone Cold and CM Punk are feuding because CM Punk thinks he's better than Stone Cold. Okay, fair enough. CM Punk thinks he's better than every fucking body. He thinks he's better than The Rock. He thinks he's better than Triple H. He thinks he's better than everyone. So there's nothing new about that. Let's look at the feud between Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Ronda Rousey. Becky Lynch became the man... Because she got tired of people overlooking her. She got tired of people not taking her seriously. So what did she do? One day she just fucking snapped. And she said that she got tired of taking a back seat to Charlotte Flair. 
That actually makes sense. She snapped. She couldn't take it anymore. That's the way you write a feud. And not only that, but this is what they did. At Survivor Series War Games, they even had Becky Lynch and Charlotte finally make up. And they solidified that fact with the two of them hugging it out in the ring. Letting us know that the five year rivalry was over. I'm going to give you some examples of how to write a feud. Like I told you, a feud has to make sense. A rivalry has to make sense. I already gave you an example of why Becky Lynch feuded with Charlotte Flair. She feuded with Charlotte because she felt like Charlotte was always overshadowing her. She got tired of taking a backseat to Charlotte Flair. As of the time of this recording, I recently watched a feud with John Cena and John Bradshaw Layfield. Do you know why they feuded with each other? No, it wasn't just for no reason. John Cena feuded with JBL because JBL felt like John Cena was corrupting the youth of America. That is why they feuded with each other. There has to be a reason behind the feud for the feud to make sense. Look at The Rock and John Cena. The Rock and John Cena feuded with each other because John Cena went on a radio show and accused The Rock of not being loyal to WWE. That is why they feuded with each other. Do you see what these feuds have in common? They have an origin. They have a reason. They didn't just happen for no reason like this one is doing. So again, what would be the motive for Stone Cold Steve Austin and CM Punk feuding with each other it to me it just doesn't make any sense the only times they really interacted was when cm punk and stone cold steve austin had that little interaction in 2011 at monday night all stars or whatever the fuck you call it and then they interacted with um the promotion of wwe 13 that's literally all they did and yes, CM Punk is somewhat like Steve Austin with the whole anti-authority thing. But don't you seriously sit there and fucking tell me that you're going to compare CM Punk to Steve Austin. Don't do it. It's not going to work. CM Punk, yes, while he is like Stone Cold, he is no Stone Cold. It's just no comparison. While LA, that's like LA Knight. While LA Knight slightly resembles Stone Cold, he's not Stone Cold. There's no comparison. So again, this feud makes no fucking sense. Make it make sense. They would have to have a reason to come together in a feud. You can't just bring CM Punk back and have him feud with Stone Cold just because you think that would be a cool match to make. You're not playing WWE 2K23 where you can just make matches. You're writing actual television. So when you're writing actual television, it has to make sense or you lose your credibility as a writer. Make this feud make sense. Because to me, it doesn't. You have to write a credible reason for the two of them to come together in a feud. You cannot just make them have a feud for the sake of having one. Like that dumbass feud with Steve Austin and Kevin Owens. 
Kevin Owens is nowhere near Steve Austin. And that was fucking laughable that they even entertained that. It's like I said before in my other wrestling videos, ever since the pandemic, it seems like WWE were just never able to get back on their feet. Now they're just throwing a bunch of shit together to see what sticks. Make this feud make sense. That's all I'm going to say about it. Thank you guys for listening. Please be sure to follow me on all forms of social media at the Myers Fan 25 and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you for watching.